So this car also has the, um, the full leather interior and you, you can notice that it's a full leather interior for a few things. One of them is the tops of the doors are leather with hand stitching and you can see the dash top as well is leather uh, with the hand stitching. Um, when you get the full leather interior you get a more elaborate interior trim. So standard on the Boxster is aluminum uh, but on the regular interior it would only be the forward portions of the cabin uh, with the center console and the uh, and the dash and you would get a planar uh, door panel. When you order the full leather interior you get the additional um, door trim on the side. In this case it's a standard aluminum but there's also ways you can change that to carbon fiber or, or even wood if you want. Um, if you want to add the door trim you have to do it with the full leather. If you didn't order the full leather, it would look like this, which is the planar door, and you can see that it's just the textured vinyl uh, on the top and, uh, and on the dash. Um, and you get the aluminum just in the forward uh, portions of it. Okay, so we've got our Boxster S, and um, we've got the uh, come standard with the red brake calipers, and we've got the satin uh, painted uh, Carrera S wheels. Um, we have a choice on this roll bar, and we can either paint it to match the exterior, or we can pa paint it with what they call alu look, uh, which is meant to simulate the aluminum that's in the cabin. So this car has the alu look roll bar, uh, and that and the aluminum uh, in the cabin. Um, also this car, um, I guess you can see it also has the, the navigation. Um, we painted the gauges white um, and with the, with the S's generally we'll order the sports chrono package which gives you the um, uh, clock in the center of the dash. Also we painted it white and it gives you dynamic um, transmission mounts which are magneto -uricle. Um, controlled mounts for the powertrain and it influences um, how much the powertrain moves around on its mounts and uh, it'll influence the vibration that goes into the cabin and uh, also in the inverse of that uh, also the uh, load transfer and a center of gravity when you're on the track. The idea being you want the powertrain isolated from the cabin when you're you know, driving in a comfort mode and, and you don't want the powertrain to move at all on the racetrack and instead of a compromise between the two you can have adjustable mounts uh, which will lock it down on the track but allow uh, refinement on the road and they do that by um, by having a fluid in the mount that can change viscosity and it changes viscosity uh, with the addition of an electrical current and there are, medical, me, there are metal particles in the uh, fluid and when they're charged the fluid becomes thicker and then the fluid moves through the mount more slowly because it has higher viscosity, um, lower viscosity and then that will stiffen up the mount. Anyway, and so this car also has the full 18-way seats and you can see that uh, it has uh, all the buttons there and we've got the, if you haven't seen it before, uh, forward and aft. We have the um, reclining for the, um, for the backrest. Uh, we have the, uh, the front of the seat for the thigh support which can go in and out. Uh, we have this button here is for the uh, lumbar in the back of the seat. And then we have the two buttons here which will um, release um, the bolsters in and out on the uh, seat base and on the seat back. Um, also this car has the sport design wheel uh, with the PDK gear shift and the sport design gives you these big um, chunky paddles one for uh, upshift and one for downshifts. Uh, what you don't get though is you don't get the um, heated steering wheel which isn't available with this and then because you don't have any functionality built into the wheel you have an extra stock down there uh, which allows you to um, select menu functions from the uh, TFT screen uh, on the console. Okay, so this is, um, it has the sport exhaust and the bigger engine and the bigger brakes and a fairly luxurious interior and it makes for, definitely it makes for a higher end car 
but one that uh, doesn't really lack anything. It has both uh, the luxury of the full leather interior with all the trim pieces. It's got some groovy color combinations, the white uh, dials to match the exterior. It has a powertrain upgrade. And um, the other thing that it has is the uh, PASM, which, um, which, is the, which is the control over the dampers of the car in the same way that a Magneto Reoracle engine mount can change the viscosity of the mount and alter its behavior from a comfort or a sport setting. Um, shocks can do that too. Um, you can do it in two ways. You can change the viscosity of the fluid um, moving through the shock chambers or you can change the valving on the shock. So in other words, the viscosity of the fluid stays the same but the aperture where the fluid goes changes and you can adjust the shocks that way. Of course, this is all connected to a computer, connected to yaw sensors and wheel sensors and steering wheel angle, etc., etc., and it'll, it'll firm up the ride or, um, or make the ride more comfortable depending on your driving conditions. When you get to a bigger rim and tire, and the sidewall profile, and the sidewall is uh, narrower, uh, then you do experience a loss of ride comfort and um, uh, a way of, of getting that back is to then look for some adjustment in the in the shock. So that's why this car with a full leather interior and the big 20 inch wheels would also have the PASM um, in, in order to restore some of the ride comfort going slowly. Um, but also of course PASM goes to the other extreme and it'll make the shocks harder on the racetrack. So again, instead of having a compromise between road and track, you introduce a, a sophisticated technology um, that, that is adaptable and, uh, and variable and so you can optimize the car for both road and track, making it more suitable for either because the scope of the adjustment is higher than when you just have, for instance, in a a coil spring and a traditional damper or a traditional rubber engine mount. So there we go, 2013 Boxster S. Uh, this is a great car. I'm sure it will not last. Uh, Lawrence Romanowski from Porsche Center, Calgary.